the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are and welcome back to my channel my name is Leah and in today's video we're gonna be going on a tour of our kitchen I thought it would be fun to kind of share with you all how I have our kitchen cabinets organized so we have cabinets from the 1960s which can present a challenge when it comes to organizing uh, cabinets then were not built with as much function as we see today but they were really well made cabinets and so when we did our kitchen makeover i knew i wanted to keep them and just work around them because they truly add the perfect vintage cottage look to our house that we really wouldn't have been able to get if we had tore them out and replaced them with new. So with that said, we did have to get a little creative in how we went about organizing things. I also don't have a pantry, so we're also using some of the cabinetry as a pantry. And so I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys around and maybe give you a few ideas for organizing your own kitchen space. So I hope you enjoy the video and we'll go ahead and take a look around. I will say that I do have a very basic and what I consider to be pretty minimal kitchen. I don't have a lot of kitchen gadgets or extra sets of dishes or servingware, things like that. So everything that you see in our kitchen is stuff that we use on a daily basis for the most part when cooking or um, you know, having guests over, it's all the same. So I just find that that makes it so much easier to keep our home tidy, keep our kitchen organized and not have a bunch of stuff that we really just don't even need. What wonder. The cabinet above our fridge is what I call our extras cabinet. It's where I keep things that I have maybe stockpiled a little bit of um, and just extra things that we don't need to open yet because we already have one open, that kind of thing. The cabinet to the right is where we keep all of our glasses and coffee mugs. I conveniently located this right near the fridge and right above our coffee maker. It just seemed like that made the most sense. Uh, keeping things practical, but I do have some matching glasses, but the coffee mugs are just a collection of cups and things that we have collected over the years, some of our favorites. This is probably our most hodgepodge cabinet that I have, but this is where we keep our plates and bowls and then also like Yetis and water bottles on top. I will say that I hope to maybe invest in a new set of dishes this year. Um, nothing we have really matches, so I'd really like to have a matching set of everyday dishes and so that's something I hope I can do this year. The corner cabinet here is very awkward in that there is a lot of wasted space, but I have found that it works pretty nicely for storing our supplements. I have them organized by family member and then I'm just using little organizers from Dollar Tree that I found a couple of years ago actually, but this seems to work pretty well and we're able to remember to take our supplements. This is one of the cabinets in our kitchen that I use more of uh, like a pantry, I guess you could say, because we don't actually have a separate pantry in this house. Um, but this works fine. I was able to find some organizers at Walmart to keep things like the goldfish crackers, animal crackers, it keeps things nice and fresh and organized at the same time. Also have a few other pantry type items in here. You can tell tomorrow is grocery shopping day as we are running kind of low on some things. Now for some of our lower cabinets and the first one here, this is where I keep um, mixing bowls and some different serving dishes, casserole dishes, things like that. I also have a couple of pitchers, which really we don't use those a whole lot in the winter. Those are more uh, something that we drag out in the summer for lemonade, things like that. The next cabinet over is where I store most of our pots and pans. We have our toaster here, little mini waffle maker that the kids have really been enjoying lately, some of my cutting mats, and then most of the baking sheets I have and other you know smaller type pans, I keep those in the bottom drawer right below our stove. My least favorite cabinet is this corner cabinet because it is just the most wasted space of all in our kitchen. It's just really hard to get to. So I just store extra water bottles and like lunch boxes, things that we're not using all the time. 
The drawer right beside the refrigerator is where I keep all of our flatware and some of my knives. I'm in the market for a nice knife set. So if you have any suggestions for me, I would love to know what you have, what you're loving. That would be a huge help to me. Some of my spices I keep in small mason jars because it makes it easier for me to be able to scoop out what I need when I'm cooking or baking. And then some of my spices, the ones that I use the shaker for more, I just keep those in the original containers that they came in. This is a really tiny drawer here, but it's perfect for holding my dishcloths, especially because it's right beside the kitchen sink. I keep most of my cleaning supplies and cleaning cloths here in the cabinet below our sink. I try to keep what I use most often kind of scooted towards the front and then in the back I have things like stain remover, carpet cleaner, things that I use a little bit less often I keep towards the back of the cabinet. The next cabinet over is where I keep most of my supplies for washing our dishes, running the dishwasher, and keeping our sink nice and clean. You all know I love the pink stuff. That's what I use all the time now to keep our sinks nice and clean. And then I also keep our dish towels here as well because I'm constantly grabbing a new one of those. Also have some baking soda here and white vinegar because uh, there are so many things you can do with those two things. So I try to keep those on hand all the time too. Now moving on to the next set of drawers that I have right beside our stove. This is where I keep things like our measuring cups and different utensils that I use for cooking. I find that it's just easier to keep them all in a drawer right beside the stove. The next drawer down just has some of my lesser used items, uh, things I use when I want to make bread, um, ice cream scoops, and the little attachments that go to my mixer. This drawer is more of just a hodgepodge drawer and then the drawer below this one doesn't even open. It is actually broken so I just nailed it shut because it kept falling off and I just pretend like it's not even there so there's actually nothing in that one. Now back to the upper cabinets. This is the second cabinet that I use as more of a pantry. It's on the other side of the kitchen sink and on the top I have things like sugar, tea, and then the kids Ovaltine, and then some canned goods. And on the bottom I keep things mostly for lunch packing. So the thermoses that the kids will take when they do pack their lunch and then um, also just some little containers and things for condiments. Also have a surplus of leftover birthday napkins that I keep in here because it's the perfect thing to pack in a lunchbox. The next cabinet over is full of things that I reach for most often when cooking on a daily basis. So you'll find things like cooking oils, uh, salt and pepper, some of my seasoning packets that I use most often. We also keep some pasta here. I tend to use the same pasta over and over. So I keep those in containers in this cabinet. And then also some things for baking, like baking powder, that kind of thing. To the right of our microwave, we have a small cabinet that I've designated to be our medicine slash first aid cabinet, and it's just full of all the things you would typically find in a medicine cabinet, uh, and also some first aid things like band-aids. I also keep like sunscreen, hand sanitizer, and those kinds of things in here as well. So it's a pretty full cabinet, um, and I do have some of our Motrin and Tylenol pushed to the front. Uh, we've been a little under the weather yet again, and so we've been reaching for those things a little more than usual. Here I have our air fryer that I store in this cabinet along with my recipe binder that I can easily grab when I need it. And then the bin that you see here on the top shelf, that is where I keep uh, some of our baking supplies that we use less often. Last year we did add this DIY island and I will say that it has really helped me out in the storage department. I'm able to store so much more in this kitchen than I was before. And so here I have kind of like a junk drawer, I guess you could say. We have our stamps for the eggs, a lighter for candles, and some of my oils that I like to diffuse most often. Next up we have what we call the junk food drawer. So this is the drawer where we keep all of the sweets in the house. Keeping them all in one drawer helps us to be less likely to reach for them so they're not everywhere we look in the kitchen. And then in the bottom I have some of my canned goods and extra egg cartons.
The middle drawer is where I keep all of our uh, sandwich bags, aluminum foil, uh, plastic wrap, things like that. I also have our twist ties to use for bags and I also keep some clothespins in here because those work really nicely for securing bagged foods as well. The larger middle cabinet is where we keep our cereals and then I'll also store my crock pots in here and then some of the chips that the kids like to pack in their lunches. This drawer is where I keep all of our coffee pods and also coffee filters for when we want to use the actual large pot of coffee on the coffee maker. Um, but it's really close by to the fridge and the coffee maker. It's very convenient, but I would like to find some kind of K-cup organizer to go in this drawer. I found a couple on Amazon. I just haven't made a decision yet uh, for which one I want to get. The next drawer down is where I try to keep things that are a little more healthy, which right now there are some things in here that are not so healthy, um, but mostly we have like protein bars, rice cakes, things like that in here. And lastly, I have a drawer dedicated to all things Tupperware and food storage. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If you have any questions at all, or if I've left something out, feel free to let me know. I love hanging out with you guys in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. I never